Hey everyone, I'm Kathy and this is Watson and this is Sophia. They are our Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs and we are in the process of artificial insemination and we wanted to shoot some videos on the process from start to finish and cross our fingers, hope for puppies. So a little background on the dogs. Um, Watson is five years old and Sophia is two. Sophia went into her first heat cycle when she was 16 months old. And now we're on her second, which came six months after. So the week before that she went into heat this time, I noticed that she was licking and that's one of the signs that she's about to go into heat. And sure enough, um, she went in heat on January 24th. She started bleeding. That was a Sunday. And then that Monday I called the vet. We're using a vet that specializes in reproduction. And uh, she told us to come in that following Friday. And that would be for the first blood work to check Sophie's um, progesterone level. So we went in on Friday, it took about 15, 20 minutes. They drew the blood. It cost $73 to have the blood taken. And her number, her progesterone level number was 0 0.392. And so with that number, she told us to come back that following Tuesday. So basically three days later on that Tuesday, we went back and it was another $73 and she drew the blood and Sophie was at 4.1. So that indicator said, we're gonna do artificial insemination on the following Friday and Saturday. So during this time, excuse me, Watson. During this time, my husband was up north with Watson. We kept them apart and he just brought Watson down on that Friday and met us at the vet. Um, so we met at the door because of COVID. They took both dogs, went in, it took about 45 minutes. They collected from Watson and then inseminated Sophia. And that cost $152 to collect and to inseminate. It took, yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. We did it on that Friday and we did it on Saturday both times. And then after that, um, Watson went back up to north, up north with dad to let Sophia finish her, her heat cycle. And that took about four more days. So on that Thursday, we brought Watson home and they were fine. She had finished her heat cycle. I'd given her like two baths to try and get the scent off. And I'm not sure if that helped or it would have been fine anyways. So now where we're at, we're at two weeks after um, the insemination and some of the signs that we've been reading, like if she's pregnant or not, um, her girl parts are still just a little bit swollen. She's dripping a little bit. It's um, like a clear to white dripping. Um, I've been reading that could be a possibility that she is pregnant, we just don't know. But our vet said that we could come back um, on March 4th or 5th and we could do an ultrasound and to see if she's pregnant how many puppies um, I think we're, we're probably gonna wait we're not in town we're from Minnesota but we're down um, doing our vacation we always vacation this time of year down in Florida so the vet said it was fine that we could travel with her um, and so far everything's fine uh, we haven't seen any personality changes with her at all. Um, they say sometimes it could be more lovey-dovey or needy or just do a little bit opposite of their personality. We haven't seen any changes like that. Um, she's still the same adorable Swissy. And uh, so basically we're just doing the wait, waiting game, um, looking for changes. You know, I'll post some more videos to see if I see a more of a significant change and I'll, I'll post a video and we'll talk about that. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free, go ahead and ask them. 
if you want to stay updated, why well, don't you go ahead and you can hit the subscribe button and we'll keep you updated on any further events. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful for anybody and uh, cross our fingers for puppies. All right, we'll catch you later on the next video. Bye.